lucky, Mike. I spotted two goannas. Woo. Right now, they're both hitting that lean with it, rock with it. They're getting ready to tail whip. Look, tail. Oh, shoot! Right in the thigh. If that gets you in the face, that full red albino iguana right here. Just rare anomaly right here in nature. Beautiful ruby red, and he's got so much white going through him that he's definitely albino. Look at this right here. I'll try to get behind this guy. Shoot, he's a little wild. He just tried it. He just tried it. He just tried it. He just tried it. Oh. We got the red albino iguana. Oh yeah. Oh. And I think I might be bleeding. We're gonna let this guy go. They're both trying to shake. They're both looking at me like I'm crazy. Long sleeve on today, thank God. If not, these sharp talons would be embedded in my flesh. Right now, he's whipping me with his tail. He's warning me. He's telling me, Iguana Man, stand back. This thing right here is absolutely gorgeous, guys. We just want to give you guys a close-up of these chompers right here. But this is the red albino iguana right here. It's rare. This was supposed to be a myth. But I'm proving to you guys that red albino iguanas do exist in the wild. Here's one right here. His mouth is flared out. Check out those teeth right there, guys. This guy is a rock star right here. I love this iguana. He's going home with us. What's up, y'all? So we are with my homie right here, and he is donating all these mangoes to feed a lot of iguanas. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. This is going to go to a lot of hungry iguanas. All right. They're going to be really thankful. Thank you. Merry Christmas. All right, man, so it's a really cold day, but you guys already know I have much love for my iguanas. So we got all this food that we're gonna go feed these guys. We're gonna go to the iguana farm, and uh, there's a whole bunch of iguanas there, big, little, medium, male, female. There's a lot of hungry iguanas, and we have a lot of food to feed them. What's up, YouTube? It's the Iguana Man, and I welcome you guys to my iguana farm. Uh, right now, it's about a couple days before Christmas, and it's the season of giving. So what I'm gonna be doing out here, I'm gonna be giving back to these iguanas. We got some mangoes, we got some papayas, we got some of the iguanas' favorite foods. And as you guys are seeing, it's a little bit windy out here, but we're gonna try to feed some iguanas. I'm not seeing too much. And as you guys know, iguanas are cold-blooded. It's a little cold out here, so I don't know how active they'll be. However, I do see an alpha right there. And I do see a Sheila right over there. So we're going to go ahead and start chucking some fruit. All right. So mango. Oh, the sun just came out. Ah. Okay, just threw the mango there. Guanas are kind of running towards it right there, as you guys are seeing. We've got another guy right there. And that guy right there just put his head up. He's like, huh? This one looks pretty soft. Ugh. Oops, went a little too far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, check it out, guy. He's running right towards it. Damn. These iguanas are all characters, I'm telling you. Uh-oh. 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 This is kind of what I didn't want to happen. Here come the ducks. Start right here and smash these, please. There we go. That was a nice smash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the ducks are coming. The ducks are coming. No! Get away! All right, well, we're going to try to throw this guy over there. I don't know how if I can overhand throw it. I'm going to try underhand throwing it. This thing is kind of heavy. It weighs about two or three pounds. Ah, let's see if I still got my arm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got to throw it before these ducks come. Maybe we can go over in here and burst these for these guys. I want to make sure these guys over here get the uh, some food. So we're going to go through this secret pathway right here. And hopefully I can throw this uh, papaya without spooking them. Because I know they're hungry. Look at them. But the mango, for some reason, it didn't burst. It might be not ripe, so we're gonna go ahead and chuck this at them right here. Hopefully they don't spook. <clears throat> that was a fail. All right, so real quick, I just caught this iguana off camera. I just wanna show you guys that this is a really 
really aggressive iguana. I think he might be mixed with a spiny tail or something like that. But this guy has a serious attitude problem. Oh my God. Like he's trying everything to either bite me or tail whip me or scratch. Come on, guy. Or, or scratch me. Hey, look at his mouth right here. It's open just like a spiny tail. Whoo! And I caught him with the snare. I wish I would've got it on video, but he was flipping out. And when I tried grabbing him, I realized that this is not like any other iguana. Like this iguana is a straight warrior right here. Check him out. See, check him out. He's tail whipping. And we just wanna show you guys how, see if he wants to fight. Oh! Just show you guys how aggressive these kind of iguanas can be. These male alphas, this right here is gonna be a super alpha iguana right here. Uh, and only a few iguanas will have this type of temperament. Well, he will stand his ground and he will not be afraid. When I caught him, this is exactly how he was. Like he was standing his ground and he did not care how big I was, how mean I was, how tough I was. He does not care. Let's, ah, just showing you guys his, 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 oh. And you guys see in that tail, is like a whip. So he's tail whipping and he's biting all at the same time. He's not afraid. He's just standing his ground. He's right here. He's Let's try to see if we can get him again. Very, very careful. Check him out. He's trying to bite. He's trying to lunge to bite the heck out of me. He does not care how big or anything like that. He is a warrior iguana and he is standing his, like he is standing his ground. Oh, he just clawed me. He just clawed me. He just clawed me. Get a close up of this iguana right here. Get a close up of that tail whip right there. It's a serious business right here, guys. Messing with an, ow, shit. Right now he's whipping me with his tail. He's warning me, he's telling me, Iguana Man, stand back. I don't care who you are, I'm the biggest, baddest thing right here. And if you get in my way, there's gonna be some serious problems. I understand that, buddy. I really understand that. Ow! Right in the thigh. If that gets you in the face, that is gonna put serious hurt. If you get hit with that in the, whew. And he's accurate too, he's not, oh shoot. He doesn't care who I am, he's like, Iguana Man, this is my territory, you're in my land. You're not gonna try to interfere with my space without me trying to, and his tail is like a whip. Check him out, his, his tail. Cracky might, cracky might. His tail is like a. There we go, guys. There we go. His tail is like a whip. And this type of iguana, guys, is the type that you do not wanna play with because yeah, he's alpha. He's still like a he's still like a young juvenile. Imagine when he's like six feet long and he's like 30, 40 pounds. Alpha, this is a young alpha right here. And there's no doubt in my mind he's gonna be a king iguana. Now it's starting to rain. I'm gonna mess with. And look, he's trying to dig those claws. I got a long sleeve on today, thank God. If not, these sharp talons would be embedded in my flesh. Look at it, look at these claws right here. They're about an inch and a half long. That is some serious stuff right there. They can cut all the way to uh they can cut all the way through muscle, through through the skin, obviously, and they can do a lot of damage, and the sun just came out. And the giant alpha, the giant alpha, he's still standing his ground. An array of different type of strategies to the tail whip right there, and that tail. Oh, shh! Oh! All right, y'all, so that was totally my fault uh, for getting bit just now. I invaded the iguana space, privacy, and the iguana was basically standing his ground and defending his, which was himself. I'm much bigger than him, so basically he was trying to tail whip, scratch, and obviously I got a little too close and he bit me. Uh, the iguana, after the attack, he ran off, and uh, like I said guys, I take full responsibility for that. It wasn't the iguana's fault, it was my fault uh, for being way too close and not respecting the animal space. Yeah, that iguana's jaws was like a vice grip. And I could feel the power just running through my foot. Thankfully, I had my shoes on. Because if he would have bit through that, man, oh my God, man, I'd probably be missing the toe for Christmas. I was just doing that for straight demonstration purposes. To grab something cold to drink and wash my face. When I returned, lo and behold, there were two alpha iguanas just waiting for me. All right, y'all, so it seems like this food lured in a lot of iguanas. And we have the alpha red right here and we have this alpha green this right here is kind of an anomaly for me the reason i'm saying that is i first thought it was a female check it out no femoral pores it has a dewlap 
but this thing is super aggressive and it's fighting like a male so i don't know what the deal is um but look he's like his claw is in me right here and look we have this one right here and they're kind of they're kind of both going in that defensive position right here um let's see if this one is a tail whipper yep yep it's a tail whipper so we have these two i guess they're male iguanas or i don't know what they are um this one could be a hybrid they could be interbred with something else maybe spiny tail or something i don't know but these things have serious aggression problems and anger problems and um as you can see they're both lining up to attack and these iguanas like i said they're just right here i just walked right up to them grabbed them by their tails and they're not even like afraid of me not one bit like see they're both they're both trying to kind of both trying to whip me right here they're both and as you guys are seeing we have this gorgeous beautiful red albino iguana right here just rare anomaly right here in nature um i don't give a crap what anybody says this is as close as to an albino as you're going to get in nature he's bright beautiful ruby red and he's got so much white going through him that he's definitely albino look at this right here I'll try to get behind this guy this guy's shoot he's a little wild oh shit! He just, tried, he, just tried, he just tried it he just tried it he just tried it We got the red albino iguana. Oh yeah. This thing right here is absolutely gorgeous, guys. We just want to give you guys a close up of these chompers right here. But this is the red albino iguana right here. It's rare. Guys, that red albino iguanas do exist in the wild. Here's one right here. His mouth is flared out. Check out those teeth right there, guys. This guy is a rock star right here. I love this iguana. He's going home with us.